Hey there, it's Alan. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of demo of how to do some simple editing with MPEG stream clips. So the movie I'm studying, Good Will Hunting, and I found a clip uh, in YouTube that I want to use. Uh, several tools that you might want to choose to use. I use Pawn YouTube. It's a browser add-on, and you can see it puts this yellow bar up here. And what I want is the MP4 version, so I'm going to right-click and uh, do a save link as, and that will uh, download this file to my computer. I've already done this, but that would be the step uh, that you want to do to get that movie as a file that you can work on. So I'm going to launch MPEG Stream Clip and uh, bring it up over here so we can see the whole thing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file and I'm going to find my movie. So I've got um, this first scene and it's going to load it in here. And it's a simple uh, movie player and I can use this bar to scrub through and get to the the scene I want. I kind of want this uh, end scene. Uh, it's kind of emotional here. And basically you can start playing it. Because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you. Uh, a little bit more on the scrub. Let me hit I. I think that's about where I went the beginning point. No, I want I it look there. At you. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. So uh, that's the beginning point of my clip that I want. And uh, I want the part right till Robin Williams pops away and hit O. So I marked the in point and the out point. That's the sub clip that I want. I go up to my file menu or edit menu and do trim. And what that's going to do is give me just this clip that I want. I look at you. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. So that's a good point. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. Now let's get the end point. You move, chief. All right, so I got a little bit more than I want. So I'm actually going to hit the I there, go to the end, hit the O, and then I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to cut. So I'm refining this clip to get just the bit that I want. And when I have everything that I want, I'm simply going to do Save As, and uh, I'm going to call this uh, Will1.mp4. I want to save them in order. I'm going to save it as MP4, the same format. Uh, that I started in, and then I've got that one, and now I'm going to actually open uh, the second scene that I have, this one called Sweet Imperfections. And a uh, scene from um, uh, The Office where uh, Matt Damon and um, Robin Williams' character coming ahead. I'm kind of scrubbing through to find, is this one section? Uh, yeah, Matt Damon's being all cocky here. Robbie Williams is like letting him play it out. He's just gonna slowly reel it. You going out again? I don't know. Why not? I haven't called it. Christ, you're an amateur. So Christ, you're an amateur. There, I want that part where you that cocky smile. So that's the end point. Uh, interesting. He's, you can see, he's trying to be tough. Um, and then this little bit of the shadow and the back and forth is interesting. I like this view here because the camera actually pans behind Robin Williams' head. Uh, to come out here. <laughs> this is where Robin Williams is sharing sort of the funny thing about um, his wife who used to um, fart a lot in bed and keep her up, and they're just laughing it up. <laughs> she woke herself up. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to end there. So I've marked my in and out points again. I could go to my file menu, my trim, and I've got my whole clip there that I want to do. So. Don't worry about me, I know what I'm doing. So that's good. Don't worry about me, I know what I'm doing. Cocky. But he's unsure, right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she woke herself up. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good cut. I wouldn't have to take anything out. If we wanted to, we could actually move stuff from the metal, which we don't want to do in this assignment, because we're really trying to get uh, two clips that we're going to save together. And we're going to call this one uh, Will 2. And we save that. So um, we've created two little smaller clips of the movie. Now we're going to go back to our file menu, and we're going to do Open Files. And uh, here we're going to need multiple select the files that we want. And the tricky thing about um, the way this works is you want to pick them in reverse order. So we want to hit Will 2 first, and then Will 1 second. Say so multiple select. I hold my um, command key down so I could select both those files. I'm going to click open. 
And then what's going to happen is I've got a combined clip. And I've got this one. And they're in the office. It's looking good. Looking good. Oh no, what the heck is that? That second clip, there's something wrong with that. And that's because uh, the aspect ratio of these movies are not the same. So I'm going to actually go back and I'm going to get uh, that Will 1 clip. And you can see that one's more square. It's not something that you always have to do with. So I'm going to do, uh, let's see, edit aspect ratio. And I'm going to make it 16.9. Stretch that out. Save that. You see it. Um, it's going to be the same proportions as the other movie. I'll call that one Will One. It's going to replace that. All right. It's going to force me to save it. So I'm going to call this Will One B. Um, so it's made that new movie. Let's try this sucker again. We're going to go open files. We want the last clip first, and then this new clip second. Let's see how we look. We got the scene in the office, scene in the office. Get that, look at that. They're the same size. And you can see what will happen is, if I play it back, we're in the office scene. Oh God, she woke herself up. Yes. <laughs> I look at you. I don't see and it's just a seam cut. Confident man. It's just a simple cut. So it's just two movies put together. Uh, I can again do a save as, and I'm going to say, I call this Will uh, Hunting uh, Clips or Scenes. And so I've got these two movies uh, put together. Error, the movie can't be saved in this format. Well, well we're going to do a Save As. Uh, export. It might be because I switched those. I don't want to do AVI. So we're gonna. This is not really what I parted in my demo. Uh, I went 640 by 360. That's okay. Make MP4. Uh, Will hunting scenes. Save that together. Replace that one. And uh, it's gonna be processing right now. Um, typically, a save as would work. I expect it's because it has something to do with um, changing uh, that file size. Normally, you shouldn't have to do it. But this is what happens when I do a demo, um, kind of doing it live. And right now it's converting all this now to an MP4 movie, which when done, I could upload to YouTube. And there's my uh, clip that I need to put together. And that's doing some simple editing with MPEG Stream Clip. That's something you normally will do. Uh, the main power of MPEG Stream Clip is how it can be used to pull out those um, fine tune, those small cuts, those bits of the movie that you want. So you get exactly what you want in small clips, and it's a really powerful tool. That's the end of my demo.